how can we create a simple code and how can we move we already have discussed it and we have deployed it as well but let's see using orchestrator the main concept using here is an orchestrator now i'll go with ui path okay i'll just take one example so first uh, with the life cycle let's see with the life cycle we need to start there is no analysis phase and and all we just need to develop we are just planning to create a log message nothing more than that we will just try to add a log message day 20 orchestrator So keep your orchestrators and uh, machines ready. Let's do this. Okay, the requirement of this process is simple. The project completely is like this. So project, this is simple. Um, show tomorrow's date and time in log message okay so we are just asking the bot to log tomorrow's date and time nothing more than that so I'll just add a log message okay and I'll just add now dot to string and as a developer i said that okay this process completed i have done everything i have tested everything now let's just run it it is printing me the date and time where is this output yeah so this is printing me date and time and i'll click on publish I'll add it to the custom package. So this is July team. So I'm just adding it to July folder. I'm keeping it in the July folder. Okay. Cancel. Okay. July folder. Okay. Now here, let's go ahead and add. We can publish it to orchestrator or custom. See, I cannot publish to your orchestrator. Is it right or not? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. But what I can do is I can just publish from here. Orchestrator I have published. In this orchestrator home, I can go to my default tenant. Okay, now in this default tenant, I'll go into my tenant packages. I'll see if the package is available or not. Deployment demo today, today, where is this? My orchestrator, do I have packages here? No, tenant packages, let's see. No, nothing is there. Let me just publish it again. Let's see where is it getting published. Package name is day 20 orchestrator. Publish options. SRV modern workspace. Okay. Yes. Project. There is nothing on the project. Settings, queues, packages, various packages. No packages. My workspace. Nothing. Tenant folders manage access should be there in packages, buddy. Not sure why it's not coming. Non compliant. Okay, I'm connected in two different machines. That's the reason it's throwing me an error. Okay, uh, so anyhow, let's just change this to custom and this I'm adding it to here and publishing. 
so this is the place where my package got published so am i sharing the code or am i sharing the package over here i can go to packages upload the package browse select july and add this day 20 orchestrator package upload yes so we are done with this and i'll go with this one go with automations add a process select my process next next create start now so when i click on start now let's see what it comes so let's see this okay content and robot awaiting install this is awaiting install but let's see if this is working or not so now i'll go with orchestrator this is in still pending state production unattended mode just refresh maybe there are multiple machines that's the reason it's throwing an error so what i'll do is i will stop the job so this is job okay so this is my job i'll just go ahead and i will start job from attended mode install so where when i run here the job also gets added over here and this is successful i can see the logs can i see date and time yes no yes okay now what i'll do okay i am saying that this is completed so i'll give it something like this chat Krishna sir, can you hear me now or not? Hello, please move the code to QA. Testing is completed. Okay, so what you will do, you can just go ahead and Take this package and deploy it into your orchestrator. Okay, now who is our QA? Who is our QA machine? Sanket, right? Sanket. Okay. Sanket, can you download the package and test it? Uh, yeah, just yeah. Give a moment, I will download. Share the screen, please. Download the package and run it. Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, yes, Vajram. Uh, in real time environment, how will you share the doc uh, like uh, file to a QA? In real time environment, can you please repeat uh, that again? Yeah. Uh, in real time uh, environment uh, uh -huh. like how will you share the uh, uh, file to qa this like is through what? email or through the email or through github or through shared folder just a okay. second okay. Um, hello krishna hello. yeah i am on the same bridge vision but uh, i am able to uh, krishna i, I think you are on session. you are on covid report bridge right i have already shared one link yesterday's link just go ahead and join Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yes, Vajram, I'm here. Like, how to 
import that one. Just that I've downloaded that one. Okay, just go to tenant. Yeah. Done. Go to shade yeah. and uh, start with a go to shade. Are you mean to say run from attended mode? Go to shade first. You need to create. You have updated the package. Now you need to create okay. a process. Okay, yeah, create. Start now. Yes, you can uh, just a second. Just go ahead and select a runtime. That's that will make you easy. No runtimes available. Okay, that's you don't have any unattended machine. So that's the reason. It is throwing you an error. So go to assistant and start the job. Go to assistant and start the job. Refresh. Okay, see if you are in the correct uh, location. Authentication error. Login required. Okay. No, no, don't quit. Why are you quitting? No, no, sign go, out. Go to preferences. I... Okay, sign in again. Then. Given the password. Sign in. Give the access, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Robot. Okay. Yeah, a robot error. Ro no robot is configured for the current user. There is a. Uh... Okay. Now, session expired. What is the orchestrator URL? Not connected offline. Preferences. Just go ahead and uh, start with this one. Uh, so is this the same email ID that you have used? Yeah, yeah, same email ID. Okay. Then let's do something like this.
so here you go now we have this one um, robots and services so we have one unattended robot one testing robot one unattended robot is already in place and one item is there so you just need to see if you have connected at multiple machines okay users where are the users accounts and groups sanket okay edit so automation user group membership cancel robots accounts groups not required okay licenses let's see if you have any license production unattended everyone is having thing let's go to orchestrator and let's see okay this is shared this settings folders where is this folder settings machines machine manage machine my machine standard add machine so instead of standard let's go with floating robot production non environment update where are the robots what happened to your robots machines no robots let's create a robot let's copy a machine copy machine key go here orchestrator settings okay let's see with machine key this is my machine key and this is my orchestrator url connect let's see please connect to your IT department okay so this machine let's give it to the folder let's go with robots configure robots folders assign groups machines my machine key edit machine what are these values clients and secrets that you have given any idea buddy no Ajran. okay Okay, can someone uh, from the team try to download and try to work with this one? Okay, let's close this. Let's see if we can see any updates. Refresh. Find more in marketplace. Okay. All I need is I need to go ahead and give those settings automation settings machines 
Okay. Manage missions in folder. This is assigned. Changes to mission template. Shit. Let me delete this uh, item. Uh, who's who's trying to download and upload this package? Can anyone do it right away? Remove. Yes. Admissions shared. Sign in. Can you try sign in now? Open with your iPad. Yeah. Robot not configured to current user. What is your user ID? Open. Let's go ahead and check with users. SN licenses. Users, administrator, assign group. Your name is Sanket, right? That's what it will give it. Yeah. Number of roles. Just giving everything in robot as well. Assign. Okay. Now let's try. Open your iPad. No robot configured. Okay. okay. I will do one thing like I will clear up this information, like I will down delete this. Oh. And I will uh, let's do delete it. This. Let's go ahead with the machine template. That's fine for now. Just yeah, mm, can you just uh, give laptop production is one? Let's give one production machine and one testing robot. We'll just give this one process type all process compatibility. Okay, provision. So this is my machine key. Let's go ahead and give it references. Orchestrator settings. Machine key. Client secret. Okay. So let's see with this one. So this is a new way of connecting, I guess, with client and secret. Earlier we used to have only machine key. Meanwhile, is someone trying or not the package uploading in their machines? 
Um, yeah, I, I uploaded the package into orchestrator and added it as a process. Okay, are you able to execute it or not? Um, I am able to execute, but only from uh, robot run. That's when I am trying to run from orchestrator, it's a uh, mention some like credentials. It needs some credentials like that. That's fine. Now, uh, tell me whether the logs are coming in correct or not. Logs in the orchestrator. Check with the logs and make sure that you are getting correct. Uh, yeah, I have seen three logs. OK, uh, three records. Q orchestrate, I mean, um, orchestrate execution started. And mm -hmm. the second one is it has given the date, date and time, and the execution ended. OK, that's it. Now, execution ended. Now, is the log correct, date and time? Um, no, uh, correct means, uh, yes, yes, correct. Are you getting date and time? Yes. Uh, now, can you go into the uh, team's notes and check with the project requirements? Just confirm whether the project requirements are matching or not. If the project requirements are not matching, then uh, send back it to the dev team. Um, send it back. To like, uh, let me share with the screenshot. The time is not correct. It's showing as 1 a.m. But in the message, the time is correct. In the message, the time is correct. But what is the requirement? Can you go back to the requirement and see once? Okay. What is the requirement? Can you please tell me what is the requirement? Requirement. Uh, we need to print tomorrow's date. Yeah, so is the log coming in correctly or not? No, 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 it's not coming correctly. So what should you do? Um, yeah, we are in QA phase. I think we we need to send it back to the developer team. Go ahead and do it. Um, so are you able to understand how things are moving or not? See, as a developer, I have written the code and I have given to QA team. Now QA team has tested, but they have found out a bug stating that um, the date should be tomorrow's date, but it's coming as today's date. OK, yeah, now send it back uh, a message stating that the package cannot be moved forward. The production um, like the log is not correct. Just take a screenshot and send it over teams. OK. So we'll try one last time from your machine, Sanket. If it's not coming, then uh, we just will check it again. Why it's not coming? Yes. Okay. Because we tried all the items, we may be missing something. Yeah, robot is not configured. Can you just search in online 
robot is not configured for current user what exactly it meant because if i am seeing it correctly in the admin panel we have a robot user Let's just wait. So, did I get a message? I didn't get any message, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending. Is my screen sharing done? Or okay. So, okay. Locate licenses, robot units, one testing, zero unavailable. Allocate. Sanket, I have also enabled uh, services for you. If this is not coming, let's check it later. Okay. Yes, yes. So what message did I get? Okay, I'm sharing my screen again. Let's just see. Share. Sharing my screen. So from QA team, we have a reply back stating that the package cannot be pushed further as it required didn't met the requirement as it should displace tomorrow message so this is what the requirement is so what i'll do i'll just add dot add this of one and then run the file now let's see running the file now this is my output it's showing tomorrow's date today's date for me is two and tomorrow's date is three now i'll go ahead and publish this again okay release notes updated tomorrow's date publish okay so now i'll just go ahead and see so this is a new version i'll just go ahead and reply back this will not happen in real world or uh, real project scenarios in within minutes it will take days like if you if there is some error that came in after qa then you need to sit for days together to update it please take it to qa and give approval okay just see this later but for now this is what will happen while moving the code from to and fro now here we need to see few things on the left side you have home in this home this is like a central place where you have different items from the orchestrator you can navigate to different items to the now orchestrator Okay. Hello. Yes. Tell me. Uh, no, no, nothing. Please carry on. Okay. So here on the left side, you can see Orchestrator Studio. So these are the new items that are coming in. But if you see, we have only a few things in the production or in current environments of uh, production. We will have Orchestrator, and everything can be accessed, or you can give access from the admin panel like i can go ahead and view allocate licenses and i can see what are the licenses that are available accounts and user groups and i can just edit allocate license um can you just see over here sanget what license do you have over here 
okay so here if i want to add more users i can just give the email id i can add more users if i want to add robot accounts like these are service accounts i can just add a service account name and all the details over here and audit logs is a place where you can see when did i log in if i have deleted anything or if i have created anything if i have changed any settings each and everything related to logs or orchestrator will be available this is different from logs this is audits audit details how uh, for example if i go ahead into so this is the current log right 44 minutes i just logged in so let's see if i go to my default tenant and if i see this log this is my log right so i'll just go ahead and add a new folder add a new sub process or where is this yeah create a new sub folder testing law testing audit okay so when i create this one if someone is monitoring like this is the activity of administrator orchestrator administrator as well to see what are the changes that happened admin okay mm, audit logs this is still the same okay let's see what else can you get in audit log create an account okay if i give a new user id let's see if i can give any new username i can just try it invite user i can try Vajrang, Vajrang at outlook.com. Let's just see. Automation users I'm just giving or in, taking an invite. Allocate licenses and allocate automation developer license. Okay, this is done. Let's see in the audit logs. Okay, now if you see here, license and management, I am giving license to some user. So everything regarding audits not about the process will be available here let me just go ahead into accounts and just delete this one okay if i want to invite more users i can do that even here now this application or external applications is for making api calls for now this is not into production right now very uh, like it just moved into production or uh, into the stable version so you just need six months more to exactly get to know all these details but if you're going to any interview you will not get in these interview questions but you can see interviews questions you can if they ask you where can you allocate the licenses you can say in the orchestrator in the admin panel i can go to licenses and i can edit it okay now there are different licenses that are available and in the community plan we have one production license unattended bot one testing and data service units we have computer vision we have robot units we have so these are uh, unattended robots that can be hosted okay and here you can see at a tenant level what is what is allocated and how many are allocated mine is default tenant if i have one more tenant then i can see the details over here okay now going back to orchestrator this is my orchestrator default tenant if I want to create any new assets, I need to go into the specific folder where I am having the project and I need to add it. In the classic, we need to have only one folder, like my workspace, everything used to be here, like home, automation, monitoring, everything used to be here. But with latest uh, updates, every project, for example, these subfolders are the projects, or you can say this is one team, like July team, and then week one week two week three and again august team week one week two week three so we can segregate it based on the teams or based on the accounts we can do whatever we can okay in the monitoring we can see how many jobs are executing how many are pending and in the automations we can see process like so what is the difference between process package job can anyone tell process package up and moreover uh, this is deployed to my testing audit like my i think my studio is connected 
to a different folder that's the reason it's moved into testing audit if you can see here okay tell me how what is the difference between process job and package this is one more important interview question that you can get file teams notes yeah close teams notes jobs process package so first package so what is a package the process i mean uh, the code what we publish yeah. to orchestrator code that we create yeah okay now what is process uh after publishing uh, we need to pair it with some folder like shared or okay so package linked to with folder a particular okay. robot okay so robot or folder okay so we are telling where it should run that's a process okay now what is a job Every what the children huh? every execution is a job for example i have this one right orchestrator if i run this one this is one job when i run it again this is the second job okay so this is a process i am running it this is a job if you go ahead and see in the jobs monitoring i think the jobs will be here jobs okay every time i run it will start a new job okay so that is the difference between a process a job and a package can you run see you cannot run a package directly without assigning it to a robot okay now how many types of assets are there uh, it's four types okay four. what are they int poly poly boolean text credentials mm -hmm. text credential okay so there are two differences between these two you can get the values okay so you can get these values using get asset activity okay so if i am going to ui path and if i am checking with activities get asset it will give me only one value activities asset on just go back to this asset so if you see here there will be one asset name and one value but if i go with credential okay i will give you an asset name and i'm going to get username and password so you cannot use get asset activity to get credentials okay so this is the difference credentials get credentials activity okay now in re framework where are we initializing all the assets uh, in config file init state in configuration settings file init all assets. settings init all yes. settings all assets it will be in file 
init all settings okay there will be a sub block called um s initialize assets okay it will read all the orchestrator config values and get send them now in this place we cannot add like in the config in config um, there will be asset sheet right if we add credentials in this credential asset type in this it will throw error why uh, we can access credential from orchestrator only no it will throw error because uh, it uses only get asset activity but using get credential we will get username and password right two values will come you cannot get it using get asset now in the assets in config we will have settings settings uh, sheet if we add here we need to make every time a call like get credential activity whenever required for example i'm trying to log in into one particular application um can i just take it as linkedin i'll just use control shift p sorry oh, in private window i'll just use linkedin okay now i need to use email id and password okay what i can do is i'll do go back into this particular orchestrator okay into orchestrator i will add some assets add asset new asset linkedin credential i'll just give a wrong credential u name password is pwd okay now add i will just create it there is one more thing i can add asset for robot okay for every user i can add a separate asset so this is called asset robot or uh, credential per robot okay but if this is a global as credential now if i save it so what is my credential here linkedin credential so if i just go ahead and give it get credential activity i can give it as get credential activity this is my name and this is my u name and this is my strr pwd password i'll just try to add the details or i'll just try to record something record so where is this um this is my yeah here you go let's just have a pause let's go back yeah record continue anyway okay this is not allowing me let's have a pause over here close i will use my i think it will open let's see or acme test i will just go with the test this website will help me to log in okay delete now if i just add this is my username okay I can just enter the value so whatever value is coming from here i can enter plain text or expression this expression is what oh, do i open advanced str let's check this one 
I'll just hover it, type into, and I will click on OK. And the value is uname, username for now, confirm, and password here. Type into. Yep, confirm. This is a plain text toggle mode, and this is password. Okay, let's just save it and then continue. Now, whatever we are getting over here, this is username, right? I'll just go ahead and expand this sequence. Okay, uname and password. I'm just giving it back as yes. uname and password is SSTR password. Okay. Okay, secure. This is a secure item. SSTR password. Okay. Now let's go ahead and debug this file. Let's see what happens. So if the item is not open, this will open again. But since this is already open, it will not open. Email ID, it should enter the value. Let's check it back. Okay. Using the browser, entering the information. Uname. This is a password. Okay, so whatever we use, we can do with this. But if we use get asset, so if let's try using get asset as well. If we try to use LinkedIn credential, we have we will get only one value. But you name. But what about password? Where will you get it? This will just throw an error. okay so does not work with type of credential so all these details you just need to go ahead and check it tomorrow we'll see completely a overview of what are settings and individually how can you manage and how can you check with this and how can you check with all these details like allocating licenses what are what are the license that we have we'll check all these details now what are the other things that you need from tomorrow's session with respect to project management and uh, life cycle of uh, complete project stop the screen share i'm stopping the recording